Hey everyone, welcome to today's 25 minute list cardio workout with weights. So grab some light dumbbells and let's work out. We're just gonna start with a quick warm up and really get everything warmed up and ready to go before we grab those weights. Now, for those of you doing the Mommy Tummy Fix program, just make sure that you stay within your fat burning heart rate zone. And for those of you who want to learn more about this program, I'll link to the description below. I'll also link to a description of how to figure out what your heart rate zone should be to burn fat. So that's all below. <laughs> Gonna march in place, pull your arms down as you go. Now, you want to check your heart rate a couple of times throughout this workout to make sure that you are staying within your correct heart rate zone. We don't want to go too hard, so you can always slow it down, go at the pace you need to, to stay in that zone. Just do some leg curls with some pullbacks, warm up the back and the legs. Just go side to side, do some arm circles at the same time. It's just going to be some squats. So spread your legs apart as far as feels comfortable. And a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're just going to squat down nice and slow and back up. Now, if you have knee pain while you squat, I want you to think about pushing your knees out. Don't let them fall in. That right really help with your knee pain. Okay. Let's work out. All right, let's grab our dumbbells. We are going to start with a dumbbell squat. So you can put your dumbbells up here at your shoulders or you can pull them down at your sides. But we are just going to squat down and stand back up. Now, because this is a low intensity, steady state cardio, my goal is to help you pick a pace and stay with that for the entire duration of each exercise. So we're going to do 40 seconds on. 20 seconds of active rest in between. So, not fast and furious, low and slow. All right, so for active rest, you can keep your weights in your hands or you can drop them on the ground. Just walk in place, try to move between each exercise. I'll show you the next exercise coming up as well. So we are gonna next do a curl and press. You'll do a bicep curl, and then you're gonna press it up into the air. Ready? Here we go. Curl it up, press it up. And then bring it back down. Curl it up, press it up. With that shoulder press, you don't want your arms to be perfectly aligned with your shoulders. Bring them forward a tiny bit. Okay, 
to rest, we'll keep moving. The next move we are going to do are reverse lunges. So again, you can hold your weights up at your shoulders or you can hold them at your sides. We're gonna alternate legs each time. Now, if you have knees that hurt, just go as low as you can. Don't go to pain, just go till you can feel it. Not feel the pain, but feel the work. <laughs> so I'm just alternating my legs down nice and slow. Try and keep that pace the entire 40 seconds. back up to working through our upper body with some back flies. So, we are going to hang down, we'll hinge at your hips, hang forward to let the weights fall, and we are just gonna alternate, lifting each dumbbell with our shoulders. Well, kind of our upper back and shoulders. I don't want you to think about swinging it, but think about pulling it and squeezing that shoulder blade at the top. Let's look at your heart rate. Mine is a little high, so I'm gonna actually take the intensity down a little bit. Our next move is a goblet squat. So I'm just gonna use one dumbbell. I'm gonna take it in my hands like I'm holding a goblet. I'm gonna take a wide stance and just lower and raise back up. One of my favorite moves. Okay, next is a chest press. So we're gonna head down to the floor on our backs. <sighs> we are gonna hold our weight up above our chest, kind of even with our chest. And you are just gonna bring the weight down and then push it back up. Here we go, we got 40 seconds of this. Slow and controlled. Great job. Okay, if you have DR, I want you to roll over on your side and push yourself up that way to avoid putting any strain on your ab muscles. Okay, next up we have deadlifts. So, you're gonna grab both of your dumbbells. This is one where we are going to hinge at our hips. You are just gonna push your bum to the wall behind you. And then bring it back up. So I kind of just run my dumbbells down the front of my legs pushing my bum back behind me. You should feel this in your hamstrings and in your glutes. Now, when you get to the top, really squeeze, pull that glute in tight. Lights are shining bright. My friends are in the club, we'll go all night. I see you in the back, the mood is right. 
Great job. Okay, next up we are gonna do a bent over dumbbell row. So I'm gonna have both dumbbells in my hands, but we're only gonna work one at a time. So I'm gonna put my left foot forward, my right foot back. It's a staggered stance. I'm gonna just rest this dumbbell on this leg. Bring down my right arm. I'm just gonna pull it back behind me. This I like to call the lawnmower move. When you're mowing your lawn and you have to start your lawnmower, you know how it's like a, oh, a big pull to get it going. This is that move exactly. You should fill it in your back, bring your elbow up behind your back. We're gonna switch to the other side. Really work that back. <laughs> okay, so staggered stance. My right leg's going forward, left leg back. Gonna bend forward, hanging down. Just gonna pull it back behind me. everybody okay our next move is called a curtsy lunge so I'm just gonna hold one dumbbell and you're just gonna bring one leg behind you and kind of lunge down in a curtsy and so we'll just go back and forth side to side slow and controlled okay here we go now if you want to you can use two weights you can put them up on your shoulders you can hold them down at your sides Whatever is most comfortable for you. Now, if this hurts your knees for any reason, just feel free to do some side steps back and forth. I don't want any pain. Diving deep into the waves, babe. I know that you want it to. It's a risk worth taking. Oh, all right. Our next move, we're moving back up to upper body. We're gonna do some alternate shoulder presses. So, we'll bring your dumbbells right here. In fact, I'm gonna have you bring them out just a tiny bit. We are just gonna alternate, pressing up. You ready? Here we go. We got 40 seconds of this. So pace yourself. Pick a pace that you can do the whole time. Take a second. I want you to make sure that you are staying in that heart rate zone. Woo. I'm still a little bit on the high end, but I'm also talking a lot. So I'm going to try and do what I can to bring the intensity down. Next, we're going to go from a squat to a straight leg floor tap. So hold your dumbbells where you want. I want you to squat down, come back up, and then we're just going to touch the ground or as far as you can with your dumbbells. So squat, come back up. Bend over and touch the ground. I'll go to the side. Squat, come back up, touch the ground. So you're gonna feel this in your quads with the squat, then you're gonna feel this in your hamstrings with the straight floor touchdown. Nice and slow, steady state.
Good job. All right. Your next move. Back to upper body. We're gonna do some bicep curls. We're gonna alternate, or if you want to, you can do both arms at the same time. Just whatever you can do for that full 40 seconds is what I want you to do. You ready? Job. Okay, so our next move is going to be some alternating side lunges. You can hold your dumbbells here, you can hold them at the sides, you can drop down and just hold one, whatever you want to do. I'll hold both of mine. We are just going to lunge from side to side, come back to the middle, lunge back down. Here we go. Now we want these to be slow and controlled. Totally steady state, not fast. This isn't a hit workout. We are just going slow and controlled. Next move, we are going to burn out our shoulders. We are going to start with a front raise, then we'll kick it out to a lateral raise, and that's where we're gonna stay for 40 seconds. If it becomes too hard with the weights, drop the weights, but keep raising and lowering your arms. Okay, here we go. it out a little bit. Next, we are gonna do a single leg deadlift. So we already did both legs together, but let me show you how to do it. So we're just working one leg. I'm gonna start with my right leg, so that's gonna stay straight. My left leg, I'm gonna step behind just a tiny bit and keep it on its toe. And then, same thing, I'm just gonna bend down, forward, come back up. Think about pushing your bum to the wall behind you. But because I have a staggered stance, I have one leg behind me, should feel it more in my right leg. A deep breath, check your heart rate. I'm right where I need to be. So we're gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna work my left leg so it'll stay straight. Right leg staggered behind, I'm on my toes, and I'm ready to go. I'm just gonna hinge at my hips, push my bum towards the wall behind me, and bend down. Here we go.
deep breath. All right, we are gonna go back to working those shoulders. They are getting a killer workout today. It's awesome. So what we're gonna do, bring them up to your shoulders. We're gonna push up one, one, and both. You ready? So this time my dumbbells are facing each other. One, one, both. You can think of it as single, single, together. Single, single, together. Okay, our next move is a side leg lift. So I'm gonna drop my weights, just one of them. I'm gonna hold one in my right leg. Now, if you wanna balance on a chair, you can, or just use your core, <clears throat> pull that in nice and tight, and balance on that. But what you're gonna do is use your leg, and I'm holding the weight right there. I want you to use your leg to push that weight up to the side. But staying balanced, Staying tight in your core while you do this. We're gonna just switch to the other side. So switch hands and your weight. And then you're gonna hold it at your side, but I really want you to think about using your leg to push that weight up, push against the resistance, okay? Like I said, if you need to use a chair to balance yourself, go for it. Or even the wall would work great. Okay, you ready? That's why core strength is so important because for moves like this, we're actually using our core to stabilize us. Our next move, we are gonna work all of our upper body, all our arms. So you're gonna start, you can do one or two dumbbells. You're gonna curl up, you're gonna press it up, and then you're gonna do a tricep extension over your head. So let me show you again. Curl up, press up, bend at your, shoulder, at your elbows, and then bring it back down. So curl up, press up, extend, and then back down. Curl up, press up, extend and down. One more move. You can hold on to one dumbbell or two, but we are gonna just start in the middle. We'll do a middle squat here, and then we're gonna take a step out, squat, come back to the middle, squat, side, squat. So lots of squats, we'll finish in the end. But remember, slow and steady. This isn't a fast paced workout. Keeping that intensity low so we can stay your fat burning heart rate zone. Let's walk it out to cool down. 
Now, if you want a better cool down that takes you through stretches, be sure to watch this one. Or if you wanna end with a core workout, here's a good one you're gonna love. And as always, we'd love to have you subscribe to the Mom Time Fix. We'll see you later.